Can everybody hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> good yes, evening. We are hearing you. Okay. I think you losing your. Good uh, brother uh, Sanjay, you have to you have to stop your uh, your pop uh, your uh, your page and you reopen again because I we can understand you what you say. You breaking up, yeah, breaking up. Could you uh, stop and uh, open reopen? Could you do that right now? Could you? I can't understand because of it's breaking on your your internet is slowing down tapai ko internet slow bhai rakhya cha actually banda gara feri khalnus ta ke re ka sanjay bhai so the cloud one is disappear <coughs> so really you don't <coughs> You don't cook, you don't cook, you don't eat other than salad. Pretty much. Oh, how you survive then? Only <laughs> salad. That's I mean I, I'll eat meat maybe once a week, twice a week at the most. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yep, that's about it. Sanjay, can you hear us? Yes, I'm hearing you. Good. Let good, me good. let me open in prayer. And you continue do, but uh, I will send you this uh, uh, the the page both of you. Okay. Uh, the, okay. The, the PowerPoint. Okay. 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 So you can open both of you, and you can continue. Yep. Uh, hold on. Just give me a second, because where's my Sanjay? How is your dad? How's your father? Yes. Now he is good. Good. Yes, Good. he's fine Glad. now. Where is he? He's right now with you? No, no, no. He's in Japa. Oh, he's in Japa. Okay. He's back to home. Okay. Good. Tell him to say hello. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll convey. Thank you. Okay, I'm done. Okay, there you go. Okay, now you both have it. This page. Now you don't have to go with me. You just have to the page only you need it, and you can continue class. Okay. Let me open prayer, and okay. you can continue. Okay. Okay. But the, you have to open your your own computer. Right. I mean. PowerPoint, okay? Let me open the prayer. Yep. Uh, Father God in heaven, we thank you so much this evening that uh, you allowing us to do this. And uh, Father, thank you so much uh, that your son Jesus Christ who came down from heaven and he spoke all the words that you have given him. And he gave those words to us. And now we be able to understand we were able to learn and this is the time that we speak all over the world and father got to be with uh, brother joe and brother sanjay and later on there will be more uh, our brethren and uh, we will be able to learn your uh, scripture all the words that jesus has spoken and father be with uh, brother kiru and brother <coughs> who is not a here but that we also we pray for those who are listening at the time and those who are uh, viewing this video and uh, this uh, um, this online and uh, we thank you so much for this privilege and we pray this Lord and Savior Jesus Christ name Amen Amen, Amen. okay continue 
you you did you uh did you get my email uh brother sanjay i haven't got it yet i'm looking now okay oh here's a brother uh kidu now back to kidu no you guys go ahead with more agreement oh I okay, be, okay. I, will be your, I will be your consultant <laughs> okay brother sanjay is uh here and the brother joe is here i'll be yeah. back you continue you have both have this uh powerpoint okay mm -hmm. okay all right i'll be back can you open that uh, your powerpoint yeah i'm opening it now okay so where are we starting from uh i think <clears throat> we should go again back to or uh, back to his beginning new testament okay because uh brother brother uh kidu almost uh we were book of paul i guess but the, I would like to go back to again because everybody forgot that. Right. Okay. You have that, right? Brother Kidu? Yeah, but go ahead. You guys go ahead. I, I'm I'm going to just be adding words. Oh, he's just he going to add. <clears throat> uh, Sanjay. Sanjay. Okay. Uh, Brother Kidu. Yes, sir. What I'm trying to do is uh, this group, when this group comes, uh, I'm going to uh, hand over Brother Joe mm -hmm. to continue this Friday. Uh, one group. I need many classes, but the separate, a uh, different, different location. Right. Brother, Brother Joe will do from, from Hartford. But the I need you to same this kind of program. Can you can you do this, uh, brother uh, brother Kido? Sure. If you want to do this, because uh, we can continue these classes, but the, with the new what classes. What time? What time? We'll find out the time because the time will be the different. Uh, brother uh, brother Joe. Yes. Uh, brother Meg will find out these people. Okay. Uh, brother uh, Kido. Yes. Brother Joe was the uh, Joe priest at that morning on um, Sunday morning. Right. Uh, this is the uh, another congregation, mm -hmm. the not a same congregation that Brother Meg. The Brother Meg was baptized that congregation, matter of fact. But <clears throat> Brother Joe spoke there, and they wanted to do this. They want to start this uh, online class there. Because they have a Saturday morning Bible class, so that right. Saturday morning Bible class they wanna convert on online. So mm -hmm. that's the benefit that they will be understand English, and they will get knowledge from the yeah. Bible. So they both. So right. that's why I want brother uh, brother Joe mm -hmm. uh, would do that class. Then I don't have to involve there. Brother okay. Joe would do there because they have the translator very well brother to translate right brother uh, Joe yeah man yeah so you want me to teach it right now not right now brother Meg is trying to communicate with them okay because okay. right. we well, I, I will stand by okay okay because of listen brother uh kiddo there is a now you your 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 eight student are were baptized uh, eight student were graduated so now they all have a group now. Wonderful. So when they have a group and any group that you want to you want to teach, you can teach. But the, let them start. Unless they not start, you cannot tell right now where is the group. You cannot because <laughs> we need people. So we want to <laughs> teach them. Though. So same thing. Just like a, we graduate in Bridgeport. That's right. Now, second, and second. how? Yeah. Now, how many so people? With the two verse two, the things you have heard of me among many witnesses teach those so, people. people oh, teach those, so. so how many yeah. people now, right now, doing your uh, copying you? What are you doing right now? How many? All over. <laughs> so this is the this is the very hard to find out. You know the person. Uh, we, 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 we start in Uganda next week. Oh, ah, okay. Great, great. Praise God. So who that. is it? Paul, a guy named Paul Blake. Paul Blake? In Uganda. Yeah, mm -hmm. Paul Blake. 
Is and we have, a guy, we have a brother, brother John in Canada teaching to Grenada. Grenada. Oh. Paul Blake, huh? Huh. Yeah, yeah. Very good. So what I'm going to do, I, I've already taken your Old Testament and went through that. I'm going to go through this. I just got the uh, slides for the New Testament. Right. And I'll go through and make my own notes. And uh, Yeah, in fact, you can adjust, adjust it, you know. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, just, I just finished Revelation. Come back. Okay. And uh, just, you know, you, you make your notes. And because basically, the more you teach, the more you learn. Right, exactly. Yep. That's why I actually want you to teach it. Because if you, you're teaching it, you're going to learn so much. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Right, so much right. you're going to pick up as you teach. Yep, no doubt about it. Yeah, very good. Look forward yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah. But the name Paul Blake sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. I knew I knew a Blake from uh, the Netherlands. Uh, Paul Blake. I don't know but if his name is from Jamaica. Paul Blake is from Jamaica. Yeah, I'm trying to think, because I knew a, a Blake. I'm not sure if his name was Paul. He was from Jamaica originally. Then he moved to the Netherlands, and his mom was um, a member when I was at Northside Church of Christ in Hartford. His mom was a member there, and he lived in the Netherlands at the time. Um, right. but I want to say his name was Paul, but I can't remember. Right. So you go ahead and teach. Okay. Um, is anybody online besides you? I, th I, think, <laughs> I think you may be the only one. So you had a good trip to Nepal. Oh, the trip was great. And, um, you know, it was a great experience. I mean, people were very nice, you know, yeah. um, and it was good talking to some of the uh, missionaries that were already there from different places right? and just listen to their experiences. You know, the, the government is changing where they're starting to uh, come down on, you know, the, the teaching of Christianity. Oh, they are. Yes, they are. Well, and actually... Because they are, they are more Hindu and Buddhist, eh? Right, right, right. Hindu and Muslim. Yes. And so, you know, in Nepal that's happening, and it's it's actually started first in India. With India? Yeah, we talked to one missionary who was uh, in India for 20 years. He went back to the U.S. to attend the wedding. Um, when he tried to get back into India, they wouldn't let him in. Wow. Yeah, so he actually moved to Nepal. And he's living in Nepal now. He's been here for a couple of years, but his goal is to get back to India. But they won't let him back in the country. Wow. Yeah, so it's it's uh it's changing, you know. Yeah. But it's amazing. Well, it's amazing. Nothing, how, new, nothing new, you know, the opposition to Christianity from right, the exactly. first century. Yep. That's been part of the the uh, the life that Christians live. Right. And I remember the first one first. Well, I you know I've been to Cuba about what fourteen times or something. Like that. Uh -huh. and, and once I went, they, I, brought, I took in about twenty Bibles and they seized them all. Oh really? Wow. And they said, "Well, no, no, you need a permit to bring them in." Wow. Now, what so, was the what was the predominant religion there? In Catholic? Cuba? Yeah. Oh, they're they're they're, they're atheists. You know, atheists. Really? Cuba, Cuba is atheist. Wow. wow. So the next year, I took them all, took my Bibles in on CDs. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, Is that these CDs yours? I said, absolutely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. That's great. <laughs> wow. So they're mostly atheists, huh? Oh, yeah, they're atheists there. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I, I, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. yeah, Cuba. Hmm. Cuba is a hedonistic atheistic society mm. wow it's pleasure they pursue pleasure as as a religion right you know wow and, uh, so they, they they don't believe in the hereafter fidel fidel like the last may have started believing just before he died but right you know, generally speaking they don't yep and so they just party 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 drink 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 right right you know? wow just like Russia, you yep. know, Russia, Russia has a low mortality rate than Bangladesh. 
Mm. Russia. Wow. You know, because yep. again, they're coming out of atheism and drinking. Yep. Alcoholism is that. So their 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 mortality, some like the average age of death in Russia is near the 60. 60. Right. Wow. Below, you know, because they have raised a generation of people that do not believe in mm. pleasure. <laughs> right, right. I know I um I don't know if you know Charles Cook, but he was from Sunset, a long time yes. missionaries, and they yeah. were over in Russia for a long mm. time. Yes. But in spite of that, the church is growing in Russia. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and the church is growing in uh, Nepal and India as well. So, I mean, it was yeah, great to see India that. Being well in Africa. You know, the church in Africa is bigger than the church in America. Oh, really? Hmm? Yeah. Wow. That'll be great to see. Yeah, yeah. Sanjay, yeah. well, you're back. Yes. The power is gone. <laughs> so, it's oh. back again. Okay. All right. So you want to go through the PowerPoints? Do you have the PowerPoint? Did you receive it? Okay. I don't like it. I don't like it. I Ayo. 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 Is that Savior? Yes, Savior. <laughs> ah, Savior, how are you? Kevin, how are you? Bull now, I'm fine. <laughs> how are you? Ayo. Ayo. Are you able to open a PowerPoint? No, I didn't see. Oh. I think he, I think Dev sent it uh, to your email. Email? Yep. Okay. Yeah, he sent it about maybe 10 minutes ago. Oh. Babu. No, 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 kuchir, kuchir. Here, no, basta ka kung kapin yero man, chupo lang yero sa ta. See it? No, I didn't find. I didn't find it. Okay, I can just read through um, some slides uh, for tonight. So the uh, New Testament um, follows okay. follows the Old Testament. So the Old Testament is all about God's preparation for the coming of Christ. Okay. Um, so everything about the Old Testament talks about the coming of Christ. Yeah. Right. And so, um, as a matter of fact, let's go to Genesis uh, 12. Genesis 12. Yep. And actually, before we go there, let's go to Genesis 1 first. Genesis 1. Uh, actually, let me see. Genesis... Uh, three. Yep, Genesis chapter three. Okay. Three one. Um. Um. Genesis three fifteen. Three fifteen. Yes. Shall I read? Yes. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between you, your, your seed and her seed. He shall 
brush your head and you shall brush his heel. Okay, so this is um, a prophecy concerning uh, Christ. And yes. so um, where, where God tells uh, Satan that he will put an enmity between the, the, the woman and, and Satan and that seed will bruise Satan's head and Satan will bruise his heel. And that's yes. pointing to the fact that when Christ resurrected, he overcame death and he actually bruised uh, the head of uh, Satan. So when we talk about the Old Testament, talks about the coming of Christ. You can see it all the way from Gen uh, Genesis, where it starts. And then you look at Genesis chapter 12. <clears throat> Genesis chapter 12 and verse number 3. 12, 3? Yep. Genesis 12, 3. I will bless those who bless you, and I will cause uh, cause uh, him who cause you, and in you all the family of the earth shall be blessed. All right, so he's talking about through um, the seed of Abraham, you know, yes. leading to Christ, that all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. And so... Um, Again, that points to Christ. So when you look at the Old Testament, everything about the Old Testament is pointing to Christ. Even We're not going to read it now, but you look at the book of Leviticus, and you look at the sacrificial systems, the sacrifice that were done in the Old Testament. Those things were done as a foreshadow for Christ. And so Christ fulfilled every aspect of the, of the Old Testament and Old Testament prophecies, even the uh, sacrificial system of the Old Testament. Christ fulfilled that. And so once Christ came, there was no need to do those things anymore. And actually, I was interested um, to find out because I didn't know that, you know, in uh, Nepal, that they still do sacrifices. Yes, yes. They sacrifice and, goat. Um, <laughs> yes. And so one of the tours we were supposed to do was to go to the place to see where they actually do the sacrifices. Yes. And, and so my question was, why do they sacrifice? Um, do you know why they sacrifice? Uh, they sacrifice for their sin to forgive. They yeah. believe that when they uh, sacrifice the, uh, the animal blood on the temple, yeah, uh, and they believe that they will, their sins will forgive. <laughs> now, where do they get that from? All right. Pardon me. Where where do they get that from? Just a minute, wait. Okay. Who is it? Hello. Did you get the uh the yeah. the New Testament PowerPoint? I got it. I don't think Sanjay got it. Okay, then I, I'll open. My I just uh, I just let, uh brother uh um brother Alice was here. So I just yeah, wanted to uh I just wanted Lala. to you know, see you. Lala. 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 So I just La, 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 la. I just left la, la. now. Right. Now I'm free now. I okay, can, I can continue this class. All right. So, so uh, we're still we're still on slide number uh, slide number three. We're talking about uh, the Old Testament, how God prepared. Um, is all about Old Testament is all about God's preparation for the coming of Christ, and we're talking about um, you know, the sacrificial systems, how Christ fulfilled yeah. all the sacrifices. Okay. And then, you know, I asked a question about in Nepal, mm -hmm. they still sacrifice animals. And I was asking Sanjay, uh -huh. did he know where they get the idea of sacrificial systems from or the idea of sacrificing mm -hmm. animals? Where did it come from? Oh, yes. Important, right? Yeah. Yeah. What Sanjay said? Uh, he was, the phone rang, so we hadn't. Oh, that okay. Point. Okay. You didn't. Okay. Let's ask him. <clears throat> Ramananjay, are you there? I don't know. So, where's your computer? If uh, if you have a computer, you can open my uh, PowerPoint. Devday. Ajur. 
रवि भाई को पानी पड़े लाइन छेन अरे नेट अरे भाई फोन कर भर्खर फोन कर बस् पाइन पानी पानी आए लाइन गयो नेट ओके खुशी को सुना धन्यवाद ए हो ओके विष्णुजी रमणन जी तब तब हे सकून यहाँ कनलाइन यदि हेन सकने हजर सुन्ने मात्र हो अब सुन्न लसरी सुन्ने मैं कान में लगा तब कसरी सुना अब मैं पग्न से एक काजीम के संजय सर एक चोटी बोलने हेलो रामन दाई गुड गुड मर्निंग मर्निंग ओके नाउ नाउ यस ओके नाउ रामनंद कैन हियर यू बट ही कैन नॉट रीड ही कैन नॉट यू नो सी दिस पेज ओके बिकॉज ही लेफ्ट हिज कंप्यूटर एट होम एंड ही ही इज राइट नाउ इन पोखरा ओके यू नो रामनंद वेयर इज ही ही लिव्स राइट रामनंद यप यस सो रामनंद लेफ्ट हिज कंप्यूटर एट होम इन कैटमांडू आ ओके यस ही इज ओनली विदाउट कंप्यूटर ही हैज ओनली फोन सो ही कैन हियर अस but he cannot see this piece yep so that's all the matter is now uh, we go to continue our piece so you said page 3 page number 3 right page number 3 hold on just a second page number 3 okay the old testament okay got it ramnan ji tabai sunnu sunnu i'm going to read the powerpoint you just listen The okay. Old Testament all about God's rip, uh, preparation for the coming of Christ. God preparing the children of Israel for the coming of His Son. All right, Brother Joe, continue. Yeah. So my question was, and I was just curious. Um, you know that sacrifices are still performed because you talk about the Old Testament being. um a preparation for the coming of Christ so the old testament was actually a lot of things that were done in the old testament was a foreshadowing of the coming of Christ and okay. so sacrifices is one is one of those things and so my question was you know since sacrifices are done in the paul you know um do they understand the reasons why they perform sacrifices where where do they get that concept from so that was my question okay. You wanna you asking me or you asking uh, brother uh, Sanjay? Sanjay, yep. Okay. You Sanjay, yep. Brother Sanjay, yes, yes, yes. Uh, question is for for you and uh, answer him. And I have uh, his answer, but uh, before I answer, answer him from you. No, I do not know where they got the idea. <laughs> okay. Uh. Since I. <clears throat> I was mm, in Buddhist religion, mm -hmm. and uh, I was very deeply studying uh, Buddhist Buddhism. Yep. So during that time, I have learned about Hinduism too, mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> the sacrification is. Uh, from the hinduism is there is no connection that coming jesus christ yep but uh, 
they sacrifice this i believe this is after the noah's uh the <clears throat> his son from three son same ham jafet from from there and uh, mostly whatever they um they have the guard whatever they have right now mm -hmm. these guard are not from the same pattern they some some from the yes they have the same concept that uh, in a bible old testament like mm -hmm. father son the holy spirit but they don't have that kind of exactly the father son the holy spirit holy spirit but they have one is uh, creator one is uh, implementer mm -hmm. and the one is destroying destroyed you know destroy things are destroying which is means they have same thing the concept is they they making concept you know now what was the last one you said destroy yeah destroy yeah. okay so destruction um yep was the 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 last one okay yeah and and i think that's important because you know when we look at the old testament you know, I think what we can do, especially in that case, is to say, okay, this is what you're doing. Let me really show you why you're doing what you do. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. you can go to the Old Testament from the patriarchal period, you know, beginning with Abraham and saw, and you see that Abraham offered sacrifices unto God. Uh huh. You know, and then as you go through the New Testament, you get to the Mosaic dispensation under the law of Moses, sacrifices were offered by the priests. Yeah. Right. And then when you get to the New Testament, you know, Jesus died once and for all, and he became the final sacrifice. And so now we offer a different sacrifice of, 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 our, of ourselves to God. Mm -hmm. And it's a progression. So we start out from the patriarchal period, and it's almost like, you know, they're still stuck there. Because during that patriarchal period, the word of God was passed verbally. You know, and so a lot of people received the word of God. But it wasn't until later when Moses um, penned the word of God that um, it was passed, you know, um, as scripture. And, and it was really written for the, uh, the Jews, children of Israel. And so, but there are a lot of people who knew of God, you know, they, they knew the story of the flood. They knew about the sacrifices. And so those things were passed down from generation to generation. Uh -huh. but, but those who were outside of, of God's people, uh, Israel, they still perform sacrifices, but not according to the cover, God's covenant, right? Uh -huh. And so when you look at now, when you have people still sacrificing, they're still sacrificing, they may not even understand why, but we can bring them to the Old Testament and say, this is why you do sacrifices. Now, let's look at the progression of where you start, but this uh -huh. is where you end. So if we go to Hebrews chapter 8. Hebrews chapter 8. Okay, could you open? Let me find out my book. <clears throat> okay, uh, brother Sanjay. Yes, brother. Please go ahead, read it. Uh, PowerPoint? No, no he, he was chapter 8. Read verses uh, okay. uh, 1 through 10. Okay. Now this, uh, now this is the main point of the things we are say, saying. Uh, we have such a high priest who is seated at the right hand of the uh, throne of the ma uh, majesty in the heaven. Uh -huh. A minister of the uh, century and of the true tabernacle who is the Lord uh, elected and not uh, and for every high priest is appointed to the uh, to offer both gifts and the sacrifice therefore it is necessary that this one also have uh, something to offer for if he were one on earth he would not be a priest since there are priests who offer the 
gift according to the law, who saw the copy and the shadow of the heavenly things, as Moses was divinely uh, instructed when he was about to make the tabernacle. For he said, See that you make all things according to the pattern so you on the uh, mountain. But now he had obtained a more excellent ministry uh, in as much as he is also mediator of the between uh, better covenant, which was established on better promise. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then no place would have been sought for the second, because finding fault with them, he says, Behold, the day are coming, saying the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day of day when I took them by the hand of the land and to the land them out of the land of Egypt, because they did not continue in in my covenant and disagreed them saying the lord for this is the covenant that i'll make with the house of israel after those yeah. days saying the lord i'll put my law in their mind and turn them on the hearts and i'll be their God and they shall be my people yes finish then okay and so um this talks about you know the the new covenant that christ would establish and so all the things that were done by the priests under the old covenant you know jesus will fulfill those those things those those sacrifices and so um jesus will be sacrificed once and for all so the book of hebrews overall is a really good book to study in terms of um it really talks about the completion of the sacrificial system under the old covenant and the establishment of the new covenant under Christ. And so when you have sacrifices done, you know, today, it's really an immature place to be. And we have to come to maturity in Christ. Um, and that's what the Bible talks about. So when we look at the PowerPoint, when it says, how God's plan unfolded in the coming of Jesus and of Christ and and and, and uh PowerPoint for the fourth slide says about how the plan of God unfolded in the coming of Jesus Christ and the church of Christ. And so the New Testament talks about how that plan that began in the Old Testament it unfolds in the New Testament. And the book of Hebrews talks about that. Yes, uh it's also uh, Jesus is the priest. Uh, the, He's a high priest. High priest. Uh, the, 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 the four, fourteen, sixteen. It tells about. Uh, okay. Uh, this uh, people here. Hold on, just a second. Okay. Yep. Hello, I mean. Hamid Sabbe Ununchatia Kalas of Nuva, Tunjia, like Spognosia, Banisurka Group or Ununchia. Krishna, sir Topper Sunday Ununta, I'm like Pet War Oil Pet Disturb Unjagi, Bichema. One second, okay, uh, brother Joe. Yes, uh, here's a uh, the Krishna group. You know the Krishna? Okay. Yes, so he is. Hello. Paneshwar, let me know you. Uh, Krishna ji? Krishna ji? Okay, uh, I think brother make uh, Brother Sanjay bhai? call gone when make while they would on unza? Put on unzala. Topic of poison, there is one second call gather. I know this <laughs> you actually, uh, actually call Gordonus, key one or some Kura Gorla, you class. I mean, the Rilamo Gordon, we will talk 
we'll talk only more i'm only uh, 20 50 minute uh, 20 50 uh, 20 30 minute and uh, we'll talk to them then okay okay brother joe yes um we, after this talking uh, this powerpoint maybe 15 20 minute let's talk with these people in in banishor okay cuz they wanna they wanna be with you okay so let's finish back here okay hello Nagin. now you brother dev you were saying something before we uh, before we stopped meeting now never uh the these people who are sacrificing right now in Kathmandu yeah. or in Nepal or India or many country mm -hmm. not knowingly right not knowingly right awesome. Awesome. If, just like you know in, in Jewish people there if the Jews says they obey the Moses law Mm -hmm. According to Moses' law, they still have to have a, a sacrifice there. That's right. But they're not sacrificing right now. They're not doing it. That's right. They're not doing it. So right. if they're not doing it, then they're refusing the Moses' law. And they're not right. adopting the Jesus Christ doctrine either. That's right. So how they be the children of God then? That's a good question. Huh? No, that's a very good question. I mean, there were many things, uh, and the uh, that the Levitical priesthood required, and that should be done under the law of Moses that are not being done now. And you have to ask the question: How can they serve God? Is there if they're not meeting the requirements of the law? Exactly. So right. as soon as they get out from the Egypt, what they did, they went the mountain mm -hmm. to sacrifice. That's why. That's right. They're asking even Aaron and Moses went to Pharaoh to let mm -hmm. let these people go to worship God at the mountain to sacrifice their God. Right. They ask about that. That's right. So meaning, if they asking what the God Lord said, mm -hmm. and what the Moses wrote about them, mm -hmm. and if they are obeying that, why not sacrificing right now? That's right. And now my point is here, if they only doing the, the, you know, the Passover meal, mm -hmm. how they, uh, how they fulfill that, the blood of, you know, right. uh, the, whatever it is, uh, to, to putting the doorpost. That's right. And the thing about it was, you know, um, during the day of atonement, uh -huh. you know, the priest would take the blood and he would sprinkle it, you know, before the people. And what kind of blood is that? It that's the thing, it was the blood of uh bulls, you know, blood of goats. But the, uh, what about now? <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. They're not doing that now. <laughs> so not doing that so now. they go to they go to his store and get the food, buy the food and just uh, and cook it. Just cook and eat. That's all. That's, that's, that's all. <laughs> the possible is. That's right. <laughs> they still don't believe Jesus was born. Jesus was, you know, right. Sentient, and Jesus was uh, die on a Calvary. They don't believe that. If they don't believe that, meaning they are still waiting. Jesus is coming, right? That's right. That's right. If the that's day right. that Jesus Christ is coming, right. Messiah is coming. So until the Messiah comes. They have to do this, uh, the the doorposts and uh, those uh, the Passover um, thing, right? And the whole point is, they did that as a foreshadowing of Christ. Well, yeah. So, so the the blood on the doorposts, the sacrifice of the animals, were, was only done because God knew that Jesus was coming. Yes. And so they did those things to present Christ. So we talk about the Old Testament was a uh, plan that unfolded the coming of Christ. The, uh -huh. the those sacrifices and and those things, you know, the uh, sprinkling blood on doorposts, those were things that showed the plan of Christ coming. You mm -hmm. know, and so I mean, they're denying the very thing that those sacrifices were meant for. 
mm. you know, which is Christ. Yeah, you know? that, this makes sense that Jesus had to come. Therefore, had to come. that's right. They, they, Jesus had to come. Therefore, there was a uh, doorpost and shadowing and all all things that was uh, that happened at that day, mm -hmm. meaning that we are now live in Jesus Christ. Therefore, there is no any blood we need to put right. on the doorpost because right. of when God passed through. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's blood will cleanse our sin. Yep. We cleanse already. Now we live in that inside of the that uh, doorpost, right? That's right. That's right. So that makes sense. But yes. the people is still doing, but they're not knowingly. <laughs> right. And so, so I, I, I think it's a good opportunity to present. This is where you are now. Uh -huh. This is where you need to be, and you can show it through scripture. Um, let's go to Hebrews chapter 9, one, one uh, yeah. chapter over. Okay. So let me open English Bible. Uh, Ramananda J. Ramananda J. Are you listening what we are uh, having conversation? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear what what we said? Did you? No? Okay. You want to read uh, uh, from the Hebrew 9? Yeah, Hebrew 9. Let's read verses 11 through 18. Okay. You said 11 and 13? Yep. Uh, 11 through 8, 18... 18, 19, we'll figure it out. Just read from 11. Okay. But Christ came as a high priest of the good things to come with the great and the more perfect tabernacle not made with him that is not of his creation, not with the blood of goats and the calves, but with his own blood, he enter the most holy place once for all, having obtained eternal redemption for this, for if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of the um, heifer. heifer sprinkling the unclean uh, sanctifies sanctified for the purifying of the flesh. How much more shall blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offer himself without spot to God, cleanse your conscience from dead, works to serve the living God, Mm -hmm. And for his reason, uh, for a reason, he is the meditator, uh, meditator of the new covenant by means of the death for the redemption of the transfigure. Okay, so, so it says he is the mediator, right? Yeah. So he is the go between. He is the presenter. The you know the embodiment of the New Testament. That by means of death and for the redemption of transgression that were under the first testament, mm -hmm. they which were called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Mm -hmm. So Christ was Christ is the conduit. Yeah. That bridges the gap from the old testament to the new testament. Mm -hmm. So the new testament really talked about the coming of Christ. That's really what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So all the things that were done in the old testament was God's way of presenting Christ to the world or preparing Christ for the, you know, uh, preparing the world for Christ. And so once Christ came, you know, then we enter the New Testament. But the Old Testament, that's really all it's about, you know, the plan of the coming of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Yeah. So it's, it's a... Uh... I am not understanding with the Jewish people. Yep. 
Because uh, when when they were there, uh, when Jesus was there, and Jesus picked up that uh, scripture and he read it. When he read that book, that was about coming, someone coming, right? Right. He just picked that from uh, that uh, the scroll and he read it from the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Written for him who is coming, right? And mm -hmm. he clearly he told, and those people didn't understand. Right. Because that's why I understand Paul written first, uh, second Corinthians chapter four, verse four. Those are who not seeing, because who believes they see, but they don't see. They they feel they think they can hear, but they don't understand what is it. Right. That meaning, I understand that Jesus was saying when the you know the. The blind, blind, uh, the blind man received the eyes, and he spoke to inside of the, you know, uh, the assembly of the yep. Jewish people. And uh, Jesus was came out, and this uh, blind uh, man was there, and, and Jesus said, "Now you see, blah blah blah, whatever." And there was a two Jewish people standing by. Mm -hmm. and, uh, what they said is, "Are we also blind?" Meaning they, <laughs> they they know they see right right right. Jesus clearly told them, therefore <laughs> your sin remains. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm I'm clearly I'm clearly understand that the, the Jewish people now they worshiping God. They also same as a Hindu people unknowingly, mm -hmm. That's not right. knowingly, unknowingly. That's right. That's right. Right. What I. My my point. Oh, I, I understand totally, and I think I think that's really a good way too to show show. You know, there's a point to start, just like to start, just like with um, you know, the Ethiopian eunuch in a, a book of Acts chapter eight, where you know Philip, yeah, 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 exactly where he was. I think it's a great opportunity to teach those who are sacrificing to teach them right where they are. Mm -hmm. Say, I understand why you sacrifice, but let me show you how to come to Christ. You know, how you fulfill the sacrifices or the fact that the sacrifices have already been fulfilled through Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I mean, we can understand where they are, but also understanding where they need to be and present that through scripture. Yeah. You know? It's every evidence and every weakness and everything, every... Uh, the person that happened, anything is all things. It does doesn't look this is pick. This all looks come by God, right? It had to be, and this coming to through, and that those things happen. This is clearly understandable, understandable, right? That's right. Still, these people don't understand. I can't understand why. Mm -hmm. And that you were in Nepal, you saw, I, matter of fact, I should have taken you the couple of temple where the literary, they sacrificing there. But, yeah. the, but the brother, brother Stanley, not willing to go at that <laughs> day. You remember that day? Right, yep. I wanted to take you guys there and uh, you just can, to see, right? Just to see, you know? Right. right. You, never, you just read, you heard, mm -hmm. but you never seen that. Right by naked eye, but right. you, that day you would have been there and you would seeing what they are doing, right. knowingly or unknowingly, you know. That's right. So I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know. Therefore, what I want is, uh, brother, uh, brother Joe. Yep. I find this man in in India. He has a video, a lot of video. He talking about several very very controversial uh topics mm -hmm. such as such as this yep. if you want to talk uh, you want to come to my uh, studio i can set it up and i will video show video shoot and you can speak 15 minute 20 minute mm -hmm. as with evidence with the scripture right right you can upload the video constantly you know
Do you understand why, right? Yep. Any, uh, any uh, controversial issue, we can we can speak that. Even right. those people who is you know they uh, think they are Christian, even yep. they're not Christian. They're looking right. for different name. You know the church name, different church name. That's right. Why are they looking different church name? Why they are, uh, you know, uh, you know they wants to uh, the worship God and not true God. Mm -hmm. so the fake God, they they made it themselves. You know. That's right. Otherwise, I have this studio. Anytime, if you want to come, just let me know. We can okay. set it up. Yeah. Sit down. We can upload. At least some people would hear this video and the people can see what and they can understand. They can go through Bible. Right. There is a, no man is living more than 120 years. Mm -hmm. and, and no man knows God. Only the Bible tells about That's right. God. That's right. And Jesus told clearly... And and Bible tells Jesus is the one first man was resurrected, mm -hmm. you know? and Jesus is the one who saw God, or who was come from God, and what Jesus said, if I said the this uh, worldly thing and you don't understand, how come then you understand when I say heavenly thing, and <laughs> these people talks about heavenly thing unknowingly, you know. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if you able to make this kind of, you know, doesn't matter controversial, right? Let it be, you know. Yeah, if it's scriptural, it's scriptural. Scriptural is scriptural. If they want to uh, ask a question, we'll be happy. We will gladly we will answer. Just go to Bible, and the Bible will answer them, right? That's right. You listen, brother Joe. We have a good team right now. Uh, that's right. Praise God. We do. <laughs> yeah. Just you study little uh, detail and uh, write down, and you just show up one day. Mm -hmm. We'll have a live uh, program here. You okay. know. Okay. So I'm gonna re I'm gonna record and I'm gonna upload all the videos, and uh, people will hear. People can understand this thing, just like we we talking about today, right? Right. Many right. people don't understand what they are doing. Right. Exactly. Exactly. You know, they think they they worshiping God. What mm -hmm. is the worship? How you know that that God is pleasing by you? Your right. worship that you are doing, right? That's so, right. There's many things that people don't understand, and they still they prevent uh, they pretend they the God, mm -hmm. you, you know, pleasing by Him. That's right. I don't understand. That. And you know, and that just says we have a lot of work to do, you know, and to. Um, Yes. To just present the word of God. Yes. So yes. Sure. that's good. Okay. Uh, we right. don't have today uh, our uh, listener because of uh, we know we know we don't know how many listener we don't see here, mm -hmm. but uh, definitely there is a listener. We yep. any, any any anybody who is listening and this time will continue the, our this uh, uh, the, the online program. We never stop. We never stop talking. We Constantly talking, right? That's the right. Talking is truth. Only uh, talk from the Bible. We don't. We don't talk our uh, our from our mind. We don't. We don't uh, talk just uh, what we like, but we talk what the Bible says, right, brother? Amen. That's right. So please uh, prepare, and whenever you're ready, just let me know. I'll be prepared here to come here. I have a camera. I have a, a sound system and everything. And uh, I will record you. Uh, and uh, I will have uh, the program here like uh, me, uh, two men so. Like two men so meaning I will, I will have a co many questions and you will answer. Okay. Uh, answer from the Bible. I will have uh, many questions and you will have an answer. Okay. All right. And sounds good. All, uh, in the, this, is a, uh, this is the episode by episode, you know. Mm-hmm. So you and I will continue this, okay? All right, sounds good. Would you would you mind to pray a uh, uh, conclusion for today? Yes. Let, yes, let us let us pray. All right. A wonderful, great Father God in heaven, we 
come to you in prayer at this time, dear Lord. Just thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity to study your word on online, Father. And we thank you for the gift of technology, Father. We pray that we may use it to benefit your kingdom, Father, and to bless people who may be hearers of your word. Father, we pray that you bless the hearts and the minds of those who, who are hearers, Father, who are online um, to hear more about Jesus Christ, Father. We pray that you'll bless their hearts. They will come to understand what they must do to be saved, dear Lord. And we just pray that you'll bless them and, and bless us as we continue to teach over the airways, Father, that we may be able to say some things that will glorify you and, and to proclaim Jesus Christ. Father, we love you for sending Jesus Christ to die for our sins, his death, his burial, and his resurrections, Father. We thank you so much for loving us so much. So, Father, forgive us of our sins as we strive to live the life you call us to live, that we may um, live lives that we may be the salt of the earth, Father. We may impact those around us, Father, and lead others to Christ by our example and also through word and deed. So, Father, bless um, all those who are online tonight, Father. Bless us as we prepare to sleep, Father, or, or go to work, whatever the uh, whatever our activities may be, Father, keep us safe in your care until we meet again. And it's in Jesus' name we do humbly submit this prayer. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Brother Joe. Thank uh, you. My greetings and my love and my uh, my everything give uh, your family, okay? Yes, likewise. And tell your wife I say hello. And once again, congratulations to your daughter and job well done. Thank you. I will definitely. I will. All right. And thank you very much. Have a great night. You too. Thank you, brother. Okay, bye.